a heated debate going on over Lyme disease. We'll take a look at how it has patients and doctors at odds with each other. Now on to the fiery debate over Lyme disease and new information that could have an impact. A study released today by researchers at Columbia University shows extended antibiotic therapy can provide relief to patients with long-term symptoms. Treatment is at the heart of a heated discussion that has patients and doctors here in Connecticut at odds with one another. Diane Blanchard was bitten by a tick 20 years ago and was diagnosed with Lyme disease and literally was treated on and off for about eight years. Extended antibiotic therapy, she says, is what gave her back her health. So when this paper was published in the New England Journal of Medicine saying, no scientific evidence supports the existence of chronic Lyme disease and that the risk of prolonged antibiotic treatment outweighed the benefits, the co-founder of Time for Lyme was among outraged critics. I must say that when people say there is no such thing as chronic Lyme disease, I scratch my head and wonder then what was it that I had. Dr. Henry Fader. So this uh, review was just pulling together the data that's there. Is an infectious disease specialist at Connecticut Children's Medical and Yukon Health Centers who contributed to the review of all the data available on Lyme disease. What, what we do know is when people get Lyme disease and get treated for the standard two to four weeks, 95% are fine but 5% will be complaining of recurrent symptoms. This has the capacity to completely shut down treatment for countless patients who rely on this right now to give them some quality of life, just as I did during that time period. But Dr. Fader says physicians and patients can still agree on the treatment regimen. And someone who receives months of therapy for chronic Lyme disease should just be informed that this is a judgment call on the physician doing it and not based on data or science. The, the single most important thing this article has done, I believe, is, is that it has pointed to the fact that we clearly need more research, more money, uh, more resources in order to better understand what is happening. The study released today in the publication Neurology was done by researchers at Columbia University where a center for the study of chronic Lyme disease has been established. A Norwich hospital